about the books you kind of like to read? I like to read fantasy and fiction. Uh, I think it would be nonfiction. Like any historical and fiction and action. And when you do your writing in class, do you find that some of the things that you read in, whether it's this book or in other books, help influence the way that you write in class? Definitely. Okay. What makes our library special? Do we have any partnerships with anybody? What's going on? Uh, so I'm actually in partnership with Apple and their community education initiative. It's been an amazing partnership to have because they've supplied us with technology like mm -hmm. Spheros to program with. I'm glad that you brought up coding. Um, tell them a little bit about what we're doing with that. So we have um, on our campus challenge days which are to enrich all of the students. They have to think about it. It's trial and error to get there. Mm -hmm. um, we call it failing forward. Uh, that's that's <laughs> you didn't oh yes. You didn't make a mistake. You learned how not to do it. Well, it's also fostering that skill collaboration, right, yeah. between the students because they're asking each other questions mm -hmm. and they're kind of picking each other's brains yeah. when something's not working. So, definitely, yeah. definitely. They have to learn to kind of work together. We have a common goal. How can we get there? They might see somebody go, how did you do that? How did that work? And then the other student is now teaching somebody else. Yes. And that's where authentic learning happens. Absolutely. So building skilled communicators. Mm -hmm. ah, let's see what you did there. <laughs> River, can you tell me why you're on this wall? What is what is the ambassadors for Knowles? I am a Knowles ambassador. Whenever there's a new kid, let's say a new kid in your class, you or uh, like that kid, he's also in my class. Um, uh, we discuss between us who's going to show him around the school, if not both. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's a pretty big leadership role, and it's another way y'all spread kindness here, I'm guessing. Yeah, let's see. You ready? What are we going to find? This is a part of a work? professional development partnership where we're doing um, week-long classroom visits of STEAM integration. For uh, this week's visits, we're doing a nature integration. So modeling the lessons, we start with a large group and um, we're connecting it to literacy. We read a story mm -hmm. yesterday, Leaf Man, where um, the leaves were blowing in the wind. So today we've been able to make a lot of connections as we're watching oh, the leaves yes. blow <laughs> and providing that context. And our educational approach at Thinkery is um, emergent learning, play-based exploration. Uh, so in these visits, we're letting the children kind of set the lead of within the framework we've provided. Um, our learning is inquiry-based, so lots of questions, conversations, and open exploration. <laughs> What's it been like since the childhood hubs have been established? So definitely um, it's brought more inclusivity to the culture of our campus, um, especially during our PLC uh, collaborative times when our teams meet together. It's definitely brought some different lenses and different ideas that the teachers are sharing, um, and especially with teachers who have students who are in special education in their classrooms, they're able to now get that different lens from an ELE teacher or an SLE teacher or um, uh, an ICAP teacher. And so we definitely have more inclusivity and really just um, do what's best for kids. Adios, amigos.